Well, like many of you, I was shocked today to find out about King Charles' cancer diagnosis. Uh, apparently, earlier he had went in to see a doctor about a prostate issue, and then they found there was uh, cancer. Now, we don't know what stage of cancer this is as of the recording of this video, and we don't know exactly where it's at. So today we're just going to take a look at the astrological energies. What can we get out of the astrology chart? Um, do we see this getting uh, better or do we see this going worse as far as the current astrological energies? Now, I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up. This is very serious. So we're going to be, I'll be discussing that and pointing to you why this could be quite a serious time. For those of you that are new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I do Vedic Sidereal Astrology, not Western Tropical Astrology. Vedic Sidereal Astrology is from ancient India and Tropical Astrology is from Greece, if you want to know the difference. And uh, they're about 29 degrees uh, difference there um, in the Zodiac. So you're probably going to have a different sign using this method. If you're interested in a private reading, uh, check down below for details. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart of King Charles here. We'll discuss what's going on there. I do want to make a quick disclaimer before we begin. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. And all this talk about King Charles, his health and everything going on, this is all speculation and allegedly based on the astrological chart. Okay, so the one thing I want to point out is... Um, in his chart, he's a Cancer Ascendant. And if you're interested in some of my former readings, I, I do a little bit more of an analysis of his overall chart. Today, we're going to focus more on the, uh, the specific issue of this Cancer diagnosis. So he's a Cancer Ascendant. And I wanted to point out is he's got Jupiter in the sixth house. Jupiter is pretty strong because it's in its own sign of Sagittarius there. But remember, wherever Jupiter is within an astrology chart, it tends to multiply things. So if it's in the sixth house, the sixth house represents disease imbalance, conflict. Jupiter rep represents things like children. So this can show that throughout the incarnation, there's going to be a lot of problems with health and health issues. Okay. Sixth house also represents divorce. And we already know that happened earlier in his life. But this shows some problems with health. Uh, many of you probably remember during the, was it the coronation um, or before that, I can't remember which event, but his fingers were very, um, they looked like very puffed up. And so even then with some of the readings I was doing, I was seeing that there's a potential here for some health issues here. And I was very worried about that. So the planetary timeline is something I really want to focus on in Vedic astrology. Those of you that have been watching my videos, you're probably tired of hearing this, this song and dance, but we use something called the Vimshatari Dasha, which is planetary timelines. All of you, all of us were on a planetary timeline right now. So King Charles right now, he's in Jupiter Mahadasha. See Jupiter Mahadasha, which is, you can call it timeline. And he's in sun Antardasha. So that's the sub period. By the way, you can switch the word Antardasha and Bukti. They, they're basically the same thing. So these are the periods he, in, he is in right now. So Jupiter is the larger period. Sun, sun is the smaller period. So we're primarily focused on the karma that's associated with that planet and the karma that's associated with sun here, okay? Basically what happens is when you're running these planetary timelines, the, the planetary energy is magnified. So it's almost like you, you focus in on the energy of that planet and that's what's going to be experienced in your life. Even though your whole chart has a general experience during planetary periods like Vimshatari Dasha, it's, there's periods that are highlighted. So there's karmas that are fully ready to ripen. Now let's take you to the slide and let's explain a little bit about what's going on. So uh, he's in that Jupiter Mahadasha, remember? So that's, that's between 2013 and 2029. He's been in it for a while. And remember, Jupiter's in the sixth house. So we already know that because Jupiter's in the sixth house, there's going to be a lot of issues with health, issues, disease, conflict, so forth. I mean, we could consider what's going on with Prince Harry, some of the conflict indicated. Now, even though Jupiter is considered a benefic planet, it can be a functional malefic for certain ascendants. So Cancer Ascendant, 
because Jupiter rules the sixth house, it can be a functional malefic. So even though Jupiter generally brings good things, it's in the sixth house and rules the sixth house. So it's kind of bringing a lot of negative experiences, which are, which are meant to teach because it rules the ninth house. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of like those harsh lessons that we learn throughout life that are not necessarily good or, or pleasant should be more of the word. Now, the sub period is Sun Antardasha, and that started July 2023 to May 2024. So that's what we're really focused on for the next three months. He's in this Sun Antardasha. This is very powerful. And this is where I'm really concerned about the next three months. Very concerned. Okay. And we're going to talk about that right now. Let's look at sun in the chart. So remember, from now to May 2024, he's in this sun period. Let's take a look at that in the chart so I can show you. Let's go back. Let me clean up the chart a little bit. So one of the things to point out is sun is this glyph or symbol over here. And sun represents our soul, our higher purpose. It can represent our body's vitality in a lot of ways too. So it's kind of interesting that he's in this sun period. And obviously with this kind of illness going on, it's, it's showing a, lot, a loss of vitality in some ways. Uh, now, one thing to point out is sun is debilitated in King Charles's chart. It's in the sign of Libra. So it's, it's not functioning. You know, this shows that in past lives, you know, that this this the the qualities of the sun which is leadership uh nobility willpower they haven't been fully developed in past lives okay so for example even though he's had past lives as a royal i feel with k2 being with sun this could represent maybe he wasn't the king in the past lives okay so he might have been part of a royal family so in this lifetime he's a king in this current in this current incarnation but because sun is debilitated it shows that there's there's a strong um indication that he's really working on um leadership and also you know sun is all about inspirational leadership so actually being an inspiring figure okay so part of what what he's going to be trying to do throughout this time or what I don't know if he's trying, but he'll be naturally doing this is really being an inspiration to people right away. He wanted to, I know he wanted to announce uh, that very private issue with the prostate and with this cancer diagnosis, because he also wants to let everyone know he's human, just like all of us. And he wanted to empathize with everyone else that's going through those similar struggles in their lives. So that was really inspirational. Now, son is with K2 and K2 can tend to be Remember, when we're in a sun or when we're in a period of a planet, the planets next to it are going to be uh, influencing the planet and also the house. So remember, sun rules the second house of Leo. So this house is also being activated. So we're going to take a look at all of those factors. Now, K2 itself, K2 can sometimes be a period where someone uh, faces some sort of loss and there's there can be some sort of loss of energy loss of vitality okay sometimes you know k2 is known as uh the beheader it's known as the short circuiter it's known as um in some cases k2 can end an incarnation okay because k2 is saying like whatever's going on is finished now, does this happen every time someone's in a K2 period? No, but we have to look at all of the factors that are involved. So K2 is involved with this. That does that lends an, a feeling of, okay, this is quite serious. K2 is involved. We also have to consider that Mercury is involved. Mercury is the 12th Lord and the third Lord. It's already kind of a malefic. Okay, so the 12th represents a loss, losses and endings. A lot of times uh, when somebody's going up in a period of the 12th Lord, there can be like a hospitalization or something like that. So there could be something where there's some very uh, severe treatments happening during this time. I know that he has, um, from what I understand, he's canceled a lot of the the royal duties and the upcoming events for the next uh, little uh, near future here. So that's, that's going to be, um, you know, it's, we're definitely going to be praying for him during this time. Let's go ahead and put the other chart up. So it's in the fourth house. Uh, by the way, the fourth house can sometimes represent the chest. Okay, so chest is issues. Um, just, just to bring that up. 
And then, um, so we already talked about the difficult factors, debilitated in Libra. K2 can be associated with declines and being suddenly cut off. Now, I did want to bring up this fact also. Sun activates the second house, the house of saturation. Okay. Now, in Vedic astrology, they do have these houses called the Maraca houses. Okay. And uh, let me pull those up. The Maraca houses are houses where there can be an end of an incarnation. And that happens during a period of the second Lord or a period of the seventh Lord. And why do they consider these houses where someone can end an incarnation? The seventh house has to do with contracts. So soul contracts. And then the second house has to do with saturation. Okay. Saturation of experience. So like when you're, when you're, uh, when your mental continuum or your soul or your body has reached a saturation point and it reaches an end of the inca incarnation. Okay. So when those houses are active and somebody's really sick or someone's in a really bad spot, it can be like, we got to take this really seriously because sometimes these can signal an end of an incarnation. So right now, that's why I'm really worried. He's in a period of the second Lord. Okay. Okay. He's in a period of the second Lord. And a lot of times when you study charts, that's when people in their incarnations is when it's during a period of the second Lord or seventh Lord. Now, does this happen in every case? No. And by the way, we go through these periods all the time in our lives. So this is very frequent. It's not like, you know, so we have to look at the other factors. You know, how serious is this, is this uh, cancer? We don't know. We don't know how serious, but looking at the astrological charts, we got the second Lord. We got we got uh, Saturn in the second house of Leo. By the way, not very good placement. Saturn doesn't do well in Leo. It rules the eighth house and it rules the seventh house. I'm really worried between now and especially May. Okay, this could be a lot. This could be worse than we than, than we're being told. Um, so I'm very worried about this situation. And what it's going to lead to. So I do feel like we should be praying for King Charles. Okay. Because this is a very serious situation. Let me pull up the slide again. Here. I'm trying to. Now, I don't like to make death predictions because we really don't know what somebody's soul contract is. But, you know, this is definitely, a, it's a troublesome time. So. Uh, Saturn, the eighth Lord is being activated in the second house, bringing difficulties. You know, the eighth house can be sudden. Uh, you know, one thing to consider with Saturn being activated is Saturn is the, how is the planet of death and rebirth. So that's something to think about. So also the second, the second Lord is involved. So I am, I'm worried about King Charles right now. This could be worse then is being indicated and there might even be with saturn being activated uh this idea of things being kind of hush hush a little bit because people might get really worried if they hear the full truth of the situation right now okay there's been a lot of psychics and astrologers uh when you know even before he got coronated and the queen passed away um there were some psychics that came out and they were predicting they thought there were some predictions made that King Charles reign was going to be short and that, that we were going to have uh, King William. Uh, you know, there's a possibility there with the, with the way I see the chart, I feel like the near future we're really in the danger point. Okay. So the next, I would say, even though it's till May, there's overlapping energies. The next six months are going to be very critical with how we see where this goes. Okay. So if it's something that they have a handle on, then, you know, things could proceed normally, but I would be very worried with these astrological invol energies involved. Uh, so let me know what you think down below. Uh, comment, let me know what you think. And we're all praying for King Charles. I really do hope that everything works out. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.